you know what just happened? What? We just saw Newton's third law. Yeah. That means for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So when the air was pushed out of the balloon, the balloon shot that way. Science is awesome. Whoa, cool. Whoa. Let's try a bigger balloon. That's a great idea. All right, Uncle Jim, blow up that balloon. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! That was awesome! Yeah! Science is so cool! Hey, using all these balloons gives me an idea for another experiment! Whoa! Where are we? We're in the balloon room! <laughs> what are these? Let's name them out, come on! Let's see a little bit of magic. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Oh, hmm, it didn't work. I know, it's because I was wearing a hat. Hey, Uncle Jim, you wanna give it a try? Yeah, okay, rub it all over your hair. Oh, here we go. Whoa, whoa, it's working. Let me see it. Ready? Whoa! That's so cool. <laughs> the styrofoam is on the balloon. Do you know why it did that? Why? When Uncle Jim rubbed the balloon on his hair, it created static electricity. So when really small and really light stuff gets close to things that have static electricity, it sticks to it. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. It's not magic, it's science. <laughs> Let's try some more, huh? Wow. Whoa. Whoa! That was fast! It's like it was flying. Do you guys want to do another experiment? Yeah! Let's do it! Come on! This way! All right, Uncle Jim. You want to help me set up the next experiment? Sure! Ta-da! Pick your color! Red! Blue! Purple! We are gonna play one of my favorite games, Sink or Float. Hey, Maddie, why don't you come here for a sec? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see if this blue golf ball sinks or floats. What do you think? Do you think float. it's gonna sink or float? Float. You think it's gonna sink and you think it's gonna float? It sank. Whoa, it kind of bounced though. That was cool. So do you wanna know why it sank? Because this ball is denser than the water. What's density? Density is when a lot or a little bit of stuff packed into a space. So if something is really dense, that means there's a lot of stuff packed into a smaller space. If it's less dense, that means there's not as much stuff packed into a small space. So when something that's more dense goes into something that is less dense, it'll sink. <laughs> Just like this golf ball sinks in water. Pretty neat, huh? All right, why don't we see what's in the next balloon? That means you're up, Kaden. A pencil. Oh yeah, a red pencil. Do you think it's gonna sink or float? Float. You do? How come? Because it's light. It is light. Yeah, why don't you see? It floats. That's because wood is less dense than water. <laughs> Looks like you're up, Uncle Jim. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> a banana. Ooh, a banana. What do we think? Is it going to sink or float? Sink. You think it's going to sink? I think it might float. I don't know. It could be either. That's why we do science. Let's see. Whoa. It floats. That's so awesome. Wait. I bet that's because there's a banana inside that has a bunch of air pockets in it. That's true. Yeah. When there's air pockets in things, sometimes that makes it less dense and then it'll float. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Do you three want to do another bonus experiment? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to take the peel off this banana and then we're going to see which one sinks or floats. Do the peel first or the banana first? Banana. Let's do the banana first. Do you think it's going to sink or float? Float. You think it's going to float? Yeah. What do you think? Float. float? You think it's going to float? Let's see. Whoa! Oh. 
Whoa. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of air pockets in bananas, so it floats. Now let's see if the peel sinks or float. Sink. Sink? Okay. Only one way to find out. Ready? Whoa. Whoa. That floats too. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. I bet that's because it's lighter than water. Okay, now it's my turn. Count me down. Three, two, one. Oh, look. I have two balloons. There was balloons in a balloon. That's <laughs> silly. <laughs> Wait, so this one has water in it, and this one has air in it. Interesting. Whoa. So wait, given what we've learned, do we think the air, the balloon with air in it, is going to sink or float? Float. Whoa. Why? Because it has air pockets inside. It has air pockets inside. That's great. And what do you think, Maddie? Do you think this is going to sink or float? Sink. You think it's going to sink. How come? Yeah, there's water in there. So no air pockets. Oh, it's going up and down and up and down. Oh, I bet that's because it's made of the same thing that's in the tank. Yeah. So it doesn't float or sink. Hey, you want to try the air one now? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> hey, you're right. It floats. That was so fun doing these science experiments. Did you have fun today? Yeah. yeah thank you, Blippi. Yeah, of course. What did we learn today? And finally, Newton's third law. Whoa, that's pretty amazing science. You three are amazing scientists. Give me five. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for having me and doing so much science with me. No problem. <laughs> See you later, Blippi. See ya. Bye.